War Diary Day 616 of Russia's war against Ukraine. So yesterday I filmed this train carriage here in the um, in this strange and rather surreal um, open air tank museum and you saw where the holes from Russian uh, shrapnel hit the train and this is where they came out the other side so the people who are in this train well good luck to them yesterday too General Zolushny who's the head of the Ukrainian armed forces um, has written a piece and given an interview to the Economist magazine read it and he sets out in, in pretty plain terms that the war has come to a stalemate that the counter-offensive hasn't really uh, got traction because the modern warfare in, in particular with drones make it very very difficult for one side or the other to do a breakthrough um, he goes out of his way to be polite to um, his western counterparts because he's a soldier and all good soldiers have to be diplomats too. But the reality is we haven't given the Ukrainians enough kits in a timely fashion to change the game. What you've got is the mass of the Russian army with drones. They can see the Ukrainians coming. The Ukrainians don't have air seniority or anything like it. They certainly don't have air supremacy, which is the normal thing that NATO does when it goes to war so so they cannot change the game and that means that roughly Russia is sitting on what a fifth of Ukrainian territory it's a bleak story and it's getting bleaker because the North Koreans have given reportedly one million shells to the Russians the North Koreans are giving more artillery to the Russians than Europe is giving to Ukraine. The axis of evil is beating the democracies. This is grim. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.